Hey, it's Tim with The Bulwark, and no, Elon, Pizzagate is not real. I can't believe we are f***ing doing this seven years in, but just earlier today, Elon Musk tweeted this meme, I guess purports to show that maybe there was a cover-up and some of the journalists that were looking into Pizzagate were pretending like it wasn't real because they also were child porn traffickers. I don't know. Let's just back up. For those people who... God love you. Did not follow the Pizzagate story in 2016. I am jealous. Let me give you a really quick refresher. In March of 2016, before the Clinton uh, Trump election, uh, the personal email account of John Podesta, Hillary's campaign chair, was hacked by the Russians. WikiLeaks then published his emails in November of 2016. This huge tranche of emails included Podesta ordering pizza a lot and like asking people what kind of pizza they want. Somehow, a bunch of internet weirdos and far-right, alt-right freaks decided that the pizza orders were not just pizza orders, but that they were coded messages. And anytime John Podesta mentioned pizza, he was actually talking about child sex trafficking. As a result, they connected a DC pizza parlor that he frequented called Comet Ping Pong and Pizza to this theory. A bunch of these internet weirdos decided that in the basement of Comet, Comet Ping Pong was the epicenter of this child sex ring and this pedo ring that the Clintons and a bunch of other Democrats were running. There are a lot of problems with this theory. Uh, Among them, Comet Pizza doesn't even have a f***ing basement. That's the number one problem with this theory, but there are others. You know, what you'd want to do is just laugh something like this off. Internet is weird. People can be strange. But conspiracies have real life consequences. Um, In this case, a bunch of MAGA freaks started to show up to Comet to harass the owner. Among those was this guy, Jack Posobiec. Jack has not been punished for the insanity that he was promoting. In fact, he's gone on to a really successful career as a MAGA media journalist. He gets invited to Republican events. He has a lot of followers now. This was great for his influence. So Pizzagate Jack benefited from this. There were some others uh, for whom the story is a little darker. There was a man from North Carolina who drove up to Comet Ping Pong and he brought a gun into the pizza parlor and he fired it at a door thinking that behind that door was the secret basement and that he was going to be able to save the kids. Again, needless to say, there was no basement. There are no kids. You know, his life is ruined. And uh, the people inside the pizza place had to deal with the trauma of a man walking in with a gun, firing at a door. So you'd think that now about seven years on after a shootout in a pizza parlor that responsible people would say okay we can move on no elon musk is resurrecting this meme and pretending that he thinks that it is real but the details here they don't even matter to elon okay he's a bad person he's he's pushing shit out into the public sphere because he likes to get a rouse out of people. He's done this so many times before, whether it was Paul Pelosi, whether it was attacking his own staff at Twitter. This is who Elon is. Maybe he thinks it's all fun and games. Maybe he just thinks that it's just cool to josh about child porn and and calling Democrats child pet predators. And, you know, his weird fanboys will just get a big old LOL out of all this. Uh, but As we saw when a guy walked into this pizza parlor with a gun, all right, there are serious consequences to this. And time and again, somebody that is supposed to be responsible for a platform that disseminates information uh, has thrown at, made wild accusations and elevated conspiracy theories. It is sick. It is disturbing. Uh, Somebody like this should not have this kind of power over our discourse. Unfortunately, he does. So when he puts stuff out like this, it is important not to just ignore it, not just pretend like it doesn't happen. Look at all the engagement he gets, but to debunk it and make sure that it is very clear. Pizzagate is not true. None of the news um, about any of these random individuals who had their own demons and have been arrested for them um, have anything to do with Pizzagate. And once again, Elon Musk is just making an ass out of himself on the internet. All right, so there it is. More Elon news. I am back from vacation. I have a live YouTube show with Bill Crystal tonight, 10, 15 Eastern. Come back for that. There'll be more Tim's takes. So make sure you're subscribed to this feed uh, to check those out. And uh, every Wednesday, we've got the Next Level podcast with my colleagues, Sarah Longwell and JVL, all right here on the Bulwark YouTube. We'll see you here soon.
Hey, if you like this video and our content, I'd love for you to become a Bulwark Plus member. You get bonus podcasts, uh, you get bonus newsletters, you get bonus takes from me that maybe don't come up on the YouTube feed. Um, you can try it out for free at thebulwark.com slash free trial. The link is below in the description. Uh, we'd love to have you as a member of our community. Uh, we have great commenters and uh, great opportunities for people who want to protect democracy.